We got fantastic news, another character revealed for the Hogwarts Legacy game. And guess what? This is so huge, I couldn't even imagine that a big actor like Simon Pegg would participate in this project and voice one of the game characters. I'm the Seven Books huge fan and the idea of meeting in the game someone who is familiar or related to the characters from the Harry Potter makes me really happy. Like meeting Hector Weasley, a possible ancestor to Ron Weasley, who is going to study at Hogwarts together with us. Or seeing the name of Victor Rookwood, who is supposed to be one of the main antagonists, a leader of Dark Wizards. He must be related to one of Death Eaters, Augustus Rookwood, one of the Voldemort's loyals. In the game trailer we had an insight that the game events start in 1890. Before that, frankly, I'd had hopes that we'd meet a young Dumbledore somehow. However, now I know that a member of another, very famous magical family is the school's headmaster in the Hargus Legacy game and it is Phineas Nigellus Black. And to begin with, I'm absolutely excited about the actor who plays and voices the headmaster because it's Sam and Peg. I mean he's a really great actor and him taking part in the game creation really brings the game to an even higher level if you can imagine. And now speaking about the character himself. Those of you who are familiar with the seven books of course know who Phineas Black was. He is Sirius Black's great-great-grandfather and the Black family has ancestral ties to Malfoys, Lestrange's, Tonks and even Weasley families. We meet Phineas multiple times throughout the Harry Potter books. Okay, not exactly him, but his portraits uh, that are placed in several locations. The first of which would be the headmaster's office at Hogwarts Castle. There was also another portrait in the Black's family house in London at 12. Grimoire Place. This very portrait actually later on in the Deathly Hallows was en route with a trio chasing Horcruxes. And to prevent Phineas from spying and leaking their whereabouts to anybody, they've decided to magically blindfold his portrait. As a portrait in the headmaster's office, Phineas neither seemed to be friends with the other portraits nor to be backing up Dumbledore's attitude and actions in most situations, let alone his harsh criticizing statements about students, strongly disapproving whatever they were up to, except of course the Slytherin students. A Slytherin himself, he actually supported blood purity, he appeared to be cunning, ambitious and he actually expected those qualities from the students too. In the Deathly Hallows book, Phineas even referred to Hermione, calling her mudblood, which would be totally inappropriate and very offensive in the magical society. Sirius Black, for example, described his great-great-granddad as the least popular head the school had ever known. Simon Peck, in his interview confirms that the headmaster in the Hogwarts Legacy game is rather self-involved, not really interested in students' education, but mostly in taking advantage of the headmaster's position for his own benefit. So basically we can say the headmaster in the Hogwarts Legacy game represents a kind of an anti-role model for the students. All that said, still having a figure directly from the seven books played by an actor as famous as Simon Pegg is beyond my expectations. And you know what? The Avalanche promised us a lot of great news during the time left before the release. So now I can't wait to see more because I'm sure that they were keeping their most awesome surprises until the very final moments. Thank you for your attention, Nox.